Has the RSS BJP Lakshman Rekha been crossed? That's our focus on verdict. Recent developments where it seems almost certain that Gadkari uh, RSS choice will be the next BJP president would make it seem so. But others say this is part of the RSS BJP symbiotic relationship. And while it may seem that it has loosened in the Vajpayee days, the Nitin RSS Gadkari's has clearly tightened its hold on the reins. by the RSS, which from being the BJP's navigator is now aiming for the captain's post. If Gadkari finally gets this chair in the BJP headquarters in Delhi, and if Advani does quit the leader of opposition post, it will be sweet success for the RSS. An end to the personality cult that grew with Atal Bihari Vajpayee and LK Advani, which the Sangh feels diluted the ideological plank. So, after the Lok Sabha poll loss, an assertive RSS handed the BJP its prescription for the next leader. Some said the Lakshman Rekha has been crossed, others blame the BJP. Sarsangachalak has been insisting on change in the leadership of the party because he had failed it to save the party or to make the party more vibrant to face the new challenges, challenges of the new times and to rejuvenate it, the, the rot that has set in the party over the years because of the political system which we follow. That has to be cleared. It has taken the RSS almost five years to achieve this. Atal Adwani were tall leaders who could force the RSS to back off. Even today, despite RSS pressure, Adwani's refusal to go is an attempt to keep the RSS at bay. But the RSS is working at it, pressurizing Adwani, orchestrating attacks against him. If party wants some help, Sandh will give. That is the role of Sandh. If party wants some advice, somebody will give it. But though this is a new strain, the tension is old. Indicated by this explosive interview on NDTV's Walk the Talk program in 2005, the then RSS chief had thundered. So, in 2005, Vajpayee smartly stepped aside. But a combative Advani stayed. He defied the RSS with his Jinnah remarks. The RSS pushed him out of the president's seat and installed Rajnath Singh. The RSS had grabbed just the top, but Advani controlled the party. The BJP's second rung realized that the Atal Advani era may end soon. A succession war broke out, resulting in bitter battles in public. Uma Bharti walked out of the party. Kalyan Singh quit the BJP for the second time. Vasundra Rajay was sacked recently. While electoral failures and crippling infighting was weakening the BJP, the RSS was steadily infiltrating its ranks. In 1989, there were just a dozen RSS Pracharaks in BJP. Today, there are 240-odd Pracharaks in the BJP at crucial posts. With Gadkari set to be the next president, the Sangh is signaling a return to the basics. All top posts will be held by Brahmins. Arun Jaitley, leader in Raj Sabha, Sushma Swaraj, leader in Lok Sabha, Nitin Gadkari, BJP president. The proactive maneuvers in the last few months by the RSS are a first in India's right-wing politics. The Sangh has almost shed the pretense of being a socio-cultural organization. Worse in the process, exposed itself to all that is wrong with present-day politics. In Delhi, Rahul Shivasa, for NDTV.